Hmm. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to the very first 60 minute powerful flow of the year 2022. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, today's practice is going to be pretty well rounded and full body. There'll be some stuff for, you know, head to toe, but we are going to especially focus on hip opening and twisting. So, you know, get into it. Um, if you have in terms of props, if you have access to two yoga blocks or one yoga block, um, we're gonna use them to make some shapes harder. So if you don't have a yoga block, you are exempt from that part of the practice or you could grab um, a pillow or like a stuffed animal or a shoe box or just something to squeeze between your knees a couple of times. Um, so if you wanna get up and grab that now, you're welcome to. Otherwise, nothing special, just some space to move. If you like to follow along to a playlist, I linked it below and I'm about to press play. We're gonna get started laying down on our backs in reclined bound angle pose. So pressing play on the playlist now. Please don't worry about being perfectly synced up with me. It's just a little ambiance for you. No need to be perfect about it. Make your way down onto your back, bottoms of your feet touch, knees open wide. If this is uncomfortable for you, um, we're encouraging some early hip opening, but if this is just too much, the low back needs more support. You could also knock your knees together, setting your feet a little wider on the mat. Rest your hands somewhere that feels comfortable. Palms up to receive energy, palms down for grounding. You can close your eyes if that feels okay or otherwise just soften your gaze and give yourself a couple big, slow breaths to settle in. You can honor this transition into your practice by tuning into each of your senses. Starting by noticing any smells or any sounds around you without getting carried away in them, just letting them float in the periphery of your attention. Noticing the feeling of the air against your skin. the feeling of the ground beneath you. And see if you might soften your body down towards the earth here, allowing it to grow heavier. Good, keep breathing. So let's start to take a couple big breaths together here. As you inhale, feel your low belly fill all the way up. And as you exhale, open up your mouth, releasing. Good, again, like that, breathe in, fill up the low belly and your rib cage, spreading it wide, filling it up. And a bigger breath out this time. Again, like that, take a big breath in, fill up low belly, rib cage in the space around your heart. Let it go. Good. Take a couple more breaths here, keeping those big full inhales if it feels good. Good, you're welcome to keep your eyes closed or blink them open. Keep your legs as they are. Send your arms out to the side, palms facing the sky. We'll do some snow angels here to start to warm up the chest and the shoulders. So as you breathe in, sweeping your hands along the ground, reach up and back behind you, big stretch. And as you exhale, bend your elbows, so your arms are in goal posts, and then drag elbows first down towards your hips. It's okay if your hands pop off the ground, but try to keep your elbows down. Good, matching the breath now, inhaling to reach and expand. 
exhaling to bend the elbows and drag them to the hips, opening up across the front of the chest. Do three more of these all on your own, moving as slow and as purposefully as you can. Nice job. If you're going as slow as me, you still have one more. If you are already done, take a bonus snow angel. Good, nice job. When you're ready, bring your hands outside the knees, closing them up like a book and hug your knees into your chest. Find a little rock side to side, maybe draw some circles with the knees, just checking in with the low back, noticing if it feels tense or tight or crunchy. Good. Nice job. Now set your feet down on the ground. These are up towards the sky. Bring your hands onto your tummy. Feel for your hip bones or like thereabouts around the low part of the tummy. We're going to do some pelvic tilts here to start to warm up through the core and the pelvic floor. So as you inhale, you're tipping the pelvis forward. So your low back reaches up off the ground. Your back is arched. Inhale. And as you exhale, we're tipping the pelvis backwards, smooshing the low back to the ground. Feel your core engage as you hug your belly button into your spine. Good. Again, like that, inhaling, tipping the pelvis forward, little space under the back. And exhaling to squish your low back to the earth. Let's do three more rounds of these. Move slowly. If you have any low back pain or tension, this can be really good for stretching out that area and also building some stability around it. In addition to just Gently drawing the awareness towards the body as we begin our practice. Good job. We've got one more. You're doing amazing. Nice job. You can release, finding a more neutral pelvis. Grab for one of your blocks or your pillow or whatever you have to squish between your thighs. If you don't have anything, you can still participate. We're going to do some bridge pose here. Start to warm up through the legs. So feet flat on the earth, wiggle your heels a little closer to your glutes and start to hug this block between your thighs. So there's already some engagement through the pelvic floor. Palms rest down on the earth. As you inhale, keep hugging the block, lift your hips up and then pause when you get to the top. Breathe here, push your feet into the ground, feel the strength, not just from the tops of your legs, but also the back and your glutes. And then notice if you're reaching up so high, your rib, rib cage is like laying open, think about drawing the rib cage in. So we're still reaching up through the hips. Glutes are turned on nice and strong, but we're hugging the rib cage in, keeping the core controlled and tight here. You're still hugging through your legs, maybe starting to feel a little burn, a little heat. Great. There's the option here to reach the arms straight backwards too. Stay here for one full breath in. And as you exhale, lower one vertebrae at a time and bring your arms back down to the earth. Let's flow five times here, matching breath to movement. Inhale, bridge, lift your hips, option to bring the arms up. And exhale, lower with control. Keep squeezing the block the whole time. Here we go, inhale. And exhale, use your whole exhale to get you down. Good, three more, inhale. And exhale. Last two, you're doing great. Beautiful job, last one, make it your best, inhale. And exhale, back to earth. Good, remove the block from between your thighs, put it underneath your sacrum, so not not as high as your low back and not as low as your butt. It's the flat part at the base of your spine. And then send your legs up into the air. Legs up the wall. 
can adjust the block as you need to. There'll be a place where the block can rest that it takes little to no effort to keep your legs up. And if you're working with something softer like a stuffed animal or a pillow, this might feel weird, but just, you know, if it doesn't work for you, you can ditch the block. But we're here, just letting the blood drain back to the torso, to the heart, and start to find some movement through the ankles. I feel like we, we forget about ankle health, but it's such an important part of being able to balance, being able to walk on the ice or the snow or the slippery rain without fear of falling and injuring ourselves. So, you know, finding some movements here. If you're drawing circles, switch directions. If you were just, you know, wiggling the ankles willy nilly, <laughs> try spelling your best friend's name. Notice if maybe one ankle gets tired before the other. You have um, an injury on one side or just imbalances in the body. That's really normal, but it's great to notice. So if your friend has a really long name, maybe you're still writing it. Let's just take a couple more breaths here. Notice if you've added any tension to your upper body while you're here focusing on the ankles. All right, give your legs a wiggle just because you can. <laughs> All right, we're gonna gently bring the legs back down to earth. Take the, uh, no, keep the block where it is. Last thing on our backs is a truly delicious hip stretch. We're gonna squeeze the left knee in and let the right leg go long. You can do this even without the block underneath you. You'll just get a little extra stretch here. So first let's think about the bent knee. Squeeze this left knee up and out towards your armpit. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then meet the resistance of your arms by pushing your knee into your hands. This is an active stretch for the right, the left hip. Keep this engagement with the left knee. Think about reaching your right foot as far away from your body as you can. Stretching along the front of the right hip. Relax your shoulders. Relax your face. Take a big breath in. And a big breath out. Let's do that one more time. Keep holding, keep pushing, inhale. And exhale. Good. Release your grip on the left knee. Slide the right leg up. We're gonna switch our sides. So you're squeezing the right knee. You can let the left leg start to crawl away from you. Squeeze the right knee up and out. You're squeezing, you're squeezing with your strong arms and then push the knee into your hand. And you have some strength building through that stretch there. You can shift your attention to the left foot. Imagine it's being pulled away from you. It's okay if the foot is on or off the ground. Take two big, slow breaths here. Nice job. When you're all done, you can release the right leg, slide the left leg back in, both feet on the ground, set your block off to the side, keep it towards the front of your mat. We'll use it again in a little bit. And then we're going to meet in a tabletop position on hands and knees. If you like to rock and roll the length of your spine, you might find a little bit of that movement now. We'll meet together in tabletop in five, in four. In three and two, it's just like fun to roll sometimes. And one tabletop is where we meet. Hands are spread wide, using the full surface area of the hand to help support you here. Hips are over the knees. As you inhale, drop your belly, drag your heart forward, lift your chin. This is cat pose. Uh, this is cow pose. And as you exhale, round and curl the spine, push the earth away. Think about hugging your belly button up and in and launching your heart up through your spine. And now there is, I'm even setting a timer, a whole minute for you to flow between those two shapes with your breath. And you can add on as your body lets you know it might like to. Maybe you add some hip wibbles. You kind of draw like a circle with your body. There's no wrong way to explore but let your breath be your guide.
Good, you're about halfway there. If you haven't tried it yet, try opening and closing your jaw. Even making like a silent screaming face, working out the tension in the face. A fan favorite. Good, finish up one more round of whatever you're doing. Good, nice job. We'll find stillness together in a static tabletop. Tuck your toes if they're not already and lift your knees up off the earth. This is hovering tabletop. You might be like, piece of cake, but just wait, keep breathing. We're gonna kind of charge up here and then take it into a high plank. You got this. Start to bring the breath. Spread your fingers wide, gripping at the mat with your fingertips and the knuckles that connect your fingers to your hands. And then imagine you could slide your palms back to touch your knees, feel the core turn on there, good. Gaze straight down, make the back of your neck even longer. The whole body is working here. Can you find a little softness through the face? Take one big breath in here, you got it. And as you exhale, walk it out to high plank. Shoulders are over wrists, legs go straight back. You're welcome to lower to your knees if you need to just rest for a moment, but come back as soon as you're ready to keep trying. Use your whole body here. You're squeezing through the legs, you're squeezing your glutes. Imagine you're wearing a belt buckle. Can you bring the belt buckle up closer to your low ribs? Nice, keep pushing your hands into the earth, hug your thumbs towards each other, charge up the chest. Take a big breath in, you got this. And as you exhale, use your core, lift your hips up and back, downward dog. Good, pedaling out through the feet here. Feeling into any tension through the backs of the legs, through the glutes. Keep this strong connection with your hands here where your palms are spread wide, fingers are helping work. This help takes pre helps take pressure off the wrists and help strengthen your shoulders and your hands. Good. Find stillness and downward facing dog. As you inhale, rock forward to high plank just for a moment. And as you exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward dog. Three more like that, inhale, high plank, rock forward with confidence. Exhale, down dog. Nice job, twice more, inhale. And exhale, you got it. Last one, inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, good. Start to walk your hands back towards your feet, walk the hands back and release into some sort of a forward fold that feels good to you. Feet can be wide, knees can be bent. Option to find a twist here, maybe a chest expansion, maybe some sways from side to side. And you might bend your knees even more, send your tailbone up to the sky, manifest space in your low back. Couple more breaths here. Good, when you're ready, we'll gently make our way up to standing. Bring your feet a little closer together. Bend your knees generously, start to roll yourself up to stand. Nice and slow and controlled. Head comes up last. Nice, when you reach the top, we're gonna do a couple shoulder rolls here. So take a breath in, squeeze the shoulders up. And as you exhale, roll them back and down. Good, twice more, inhale. And exhale, last one, inhale. And exhale, good. You'll find a wide stance on your mat, so facing the long edge. We're gonna do a little bit of a different sun A um, to get us doing a little bit of twisting and some hip stuff. Oh, I don't know if you're listening to this song, but a song I love is playing and I wish we were already moving. Okay, stop talking at me, okay. I'm gonna show you how we do it once and then we'll move through it together, matching breath to movement. This is an exalted twist. So you're gonna bring your left hand onto your hip, send the right arm out. As you inhale, reach the right arm up. 
And as you exhale, you're reaching it up and back. The right leg can turn in. And there's no wrong way to do this, but you're looking for a stretch across the front of this right hip. So maybe you squeeze the right glute, lift up, up, up out of the hips. And then when you exhale, we'll come back to where we started. And then we'll go to the other side. So right hand on the right hip, left hand goes out. As you inhale, sweep the arm up and back. Left toes might turn in to help. And then you're rooted through the hips so you can reach up and out, maybe a little, little bend backwards. And then back to center. Cool. All right. So we'll do that together now and then we will move on. So left hand on your hip, inhale, reach the right arm up and back. Exhale back to center. Inhale, swoop the left arm up and back. Exhale to center, nice. As you inhale, clasp your hands behind you, puff up your heart. And as you exhale, all toes point straight forward, forward fold. Option to release the spine if it doesn't feel good. If it does, you can let go of it anytime. Inhale, lift halfway. Option to keep or release the bind. Exhale, goddess pose. Toes out, heels in. You can bring your hands onto your hips. So we're going to start up high here. There's no pressure to be going low. And if it feels good to rock side to side, we're just starting to wake up the glutes and open up through the hips. So you can keep rocking side to side. If you wanna add a twist, inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, drop one shoulder, look over the other. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop the other shoulder. Let's do that one more time through. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop. Very good. Return to center. Bring your hands to rest at heart center. As you inhale, press straight up back to star pose. Exhale, hands to heart. We'll go through all that again. Inhale, lift the right arm up and back. Exhale, center. Inhale, left arm. Exhale, center. Inhale, clasp and puff up your chest. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, goddess pose. We'll go straight into the twist just once. Inhale. Exhale, drop one shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop the other shoulder. Good. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, stay. <laughs> Inhale, star pose. Last time through. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lift the right arm up and back, stretch. Exhale, center. Inhale, lift the right arm up and back, good. Exhale, center. Inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, toes in, heels out as you fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low goddess pose, inhale. Exhale, drop one shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop the other shoulder. Good, return to center. Inhale, press up. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, now face whatever feels like the front of your mat for yourself. As you inhale, mountain pose, reach all the way up, up, up. Exhale, forward fold, soften your knees, come down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank and pause or option to lower all the way to your belly. You can drop to your knees first. Inhale, cobra pose, peel your heart up and forward, hold and breathe here. Dig your toenails into the mat, fire up your legs, push your pelvis down and then through the grounding of the legs, find more lift through the heart, pinch your shoulder blades together behind you, lengthen the back of your neck by gazing straight down, breathe in, exhale, lower. Good, inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, make sure your block is towards the front of your mat. We're gonna move on now, start to warm up some larger muscle groups. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. 
Exhale, fold, grab your block. Inhale, chair pose, putting the block in between your thighs because we can. And also, if you're someone who chair pose is uncomfortable through the legs or through the knees, try squeezing a block and see if it helps direct some of the muscle engagement away from the knees. Squeezing the block helps us remember to use the, our glutes and the backs of our legs to help here. So, and if this leg just does not work for you, ditch it. You don't have to have it. It's just an option. So think your butt further back than down. So like you're reaching for a chair, good. And you can stay just like this. There's the option to add on a couple of twists. If you're moving with the twist, breathe in. As you exhale, reach the right arm back, left arm stretches forward, hips stay as they are, keep squeezing. Inhale, chair pose, back to center. Exhale, reach the left arm back, spreading wide across the chest. Good, let's do that one more time through. Inhale, center. Exhale, right arm back. Doing so good, I'm right here with you. It burns, inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left, yes. Good, keep this control. Inhale, center, stay, stay, stay. Exhale, forward fold and release the block. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank and hold or lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, bend the knee, open up your hip. Let your right heel come towards your glutes, knee goes towards the ceiling. And notice if now your left hand and shoulder are bearing a lot of the weight, can you even it out by facing both armpits down towards the floor? Good, you're here for four, for three, for two, and one, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Okay, if it takes a couple steps to get there. Plant the left hand on the earth or left fist. Inhale, peel the right arm up to the sky, twist. Hold and breathe here, look down if that feels better on your neck. Squeeze your back leg, squeeze your back glute. See if you can open your heart up one more centimeter. Inhale, exhale, low lunge back to earth. Lower the left knee down, inhale, kneeling crescent lunge, arms come up. This is where we've got some options. We're gonna be kneeling for a moment. You can tuck the back toes or keep them untucked. And for more cushion under the knee, grab a blanket or you can double fold your mat underneath the kneeling left knee. So do what you gotta do. Push both of your feet down into the ground and imagine you could scrunch up your mat underneath you. Squeeze your left glute here for more stability. And then if it feels accessible to you, start to grow taller out of your hips. Maybe you find a little bit of a back bend. Good, take one more breath in here. As you exhale, half split, straighten the right leg any amount. Hips go back. You might have your block or blocks on either side of you to help reach the floor comfortably. You can point and flex the toe, send the right toes from side to side, waking up the hamstrings here. Good, and we're gonna add a flow now between those two shapes, really getting into the hips and the hamstrings. So as you inhale, lunge forward, kneeling lunge, arms reach up, strong legs. And as you exhale, half split, straighten the right leg. One more time, inhale, kneeling crescent, Exhale, half split. Good, big transition coming up. Come to kneeling crescent, tuck your back toes. As you inhale, lift the back leg up, high crescent lunge. Feet are on parallel tracks. Back foot is you're up on your toes here. Imagine that your hip bones are like headlights, they're pointing straight forward. Both legs are strong. If you need to add a little bend to the back knee so it's more comfortable for the hips, do it. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, twist, reach the right arm back. Reach the right arm back, left arm peels forward. Can you lunge a little deeper into that right leg? Can you activate the back leg where your hamstring meets your butt? 
That's the official medical term for that muscle. <laughs> Inhale, warrior two, spiral open. Bend and straighten into that right knee if you need to. And then recommit to the shape in your body. It's tough. You're tougher. You can do this. So your heel is aligned to your other heel or maybe your back arch. And then you're squeezing those points towards each other. Feel your inner thighs turn on. Hug your belly button up and in. We're charging up the body from the feet up through the head. Send your fingertips long. Give them a little wiggle. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle. Right arm comes forward and down, left arm high. We got options here. Rest the right arm on the thigh. Send the top arm bicep by your ear. You could reach straight up. If you want more challenge, lift the bottom arm like you're holding a giant beach ball overhead. But wherever you are, notice if you're dumping all your weight into your right leg, squeeze the back leg for more support here. Good, inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten the front leg, merciful release. <laughs> We're reaching up, maybe back. This is a side bend, not a back bend. Maybe you spin the wrist a few times, press the big toe into the ground or Pop the toes up like a little gesture. Good. One more breath in here. As you exhale, swoop down to the left into wide leg forward fold. Toes point forward or slightly in. You got a couple of breaths here just to enjoy this wide leg stretch. Good. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge towards the right foot, towards the right foot. Inhale, high plank, step back. Exhale, lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, left side now. Inhale, kick the left leg high. Exhale, bend your knee, open up the hip. Might feel good to draw circles with the knee or the ankle. Maybe you just let gravity tug the heel towards the ground. Square your shoulders and your chest towards the earth, strong through both arms. You're here for four, three, two, one. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, bring the left leg through. Take your time. Plant the right hand or fist in the middle of your mat. Inhale, twist, left arm to the sky. Hold here, lengthen both arm spans. Squeeze your back glute for support. Use your core to deepen the twist. One more centimeter, breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Lower the right knee down. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Taking care on this side to cushion the knee in whatever way feels good. I'm gonna bunch up this sweatshirt. Love a multi-purpose garment. <laughs> All right, feet are pressing down, toes are tucked or untucked. What's most important is that we're gathering stability up from the ground. You'll feel it in the right glute, you'll feel it in the core, stable through the legs. So as you inhale and reach up a little higher with your heart, maybe you can support a tiny little back bend. And as you exhale, straighten the left leg, finding half splits, grabbing the blocks if that's helpful. And on this first time here, we'll spend a little extra care checking in with the hamstrings. Did you know you have three hamstrings? That's why rocking the toes from left to right can feel so different. Whew. Good, let's slow twice. Inhale, kneeling crescent, reach up, maybe back. Exhale, half split. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, half split. We're gonna go one more time. Inhale, kneeling crescent, lift through your heart. Exhale, half split. Here comes the transition. As you inhale, rock forward to kneeling crescent, tuck the back toes, lift the back leg up, and then lift your arms. So just as you need, feet face forward, 
hips are in alignment, you might even bring your hands to your hips, move left hip more back, right hip more forward. For some of us, it's tough to keep our hips square and our legs long and straight. So bring that bend to the back knee. There's nothing wrong with it. You can still have strong, active legs, even when you adjust for your own anatomy. So as you inhale, reach up, legs are strong, squeezing towards each other. As you exhale, reach the left arm back, left arm back, right arm forward. You're peeling your arms apart. Core is active. You're reaching up through the very tippy top of your head. Take one more breath in here. You got it. Stay for your exhale. Good. Inhale, warrior two. If you exhale, stay here. You can bend and straighten into this left leg, preparing. Find a stance that's achievable for you. You know, you're holding the shape for a little while. Maybe you make the choice to shorten your stance a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Squeeze the heels towards each other. Squeeze the right glutes. Send your fingertips long. Arms are so strong that if I tried to reach through the computer and knock your arms down, I wouldn't be able to knock them down. Carl's doing great in the other room. He's not coming down. <laughs> Good. Inhale here. Lengthen your arms. Exhale. Extended side angle. Find what you need. This is a twist. Keep your core turned on. Use this back leg like an anchor. See if you might spiral your bottom rib cage up towards the sky just a bit more. You're doing amazing. Good. Straighten the left leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. Paint the ceiling with your fingertips. You choose what happens with the left foot. Either anchor the big toe down or pop the toes up. Good. Inhale. Exhale, wide leg forward, fold, swoop down. Couple of breaths here. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge towards the left foot, left foot. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, option to lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, all right, we're gonna flow through one time, matching breath to movement. Keep your block up near the front of your mat. Other block is somewhere near the middle of your mat. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, walk to meet your hands. Inhale, lift pathway. Exhale, fold. Grab the block, inhale, chair pose, option to squeeze the block between your thighs. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center, sink further back. Exhale, twist to the left. Good, inhale, center. Exhale, twist right, sink the butt back, you can do it. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left, we're going one time through. Yes, you can, inhale. Exhale to the right. Keep squeezing the block. Good. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Amazing. Inhale, center. Hold it. Stay with it. Exhale, fold and release. Let the block go. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, high plank and lower to your belly. Inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Plant the left hand, inhale, twist, right arm high. Exhale, low lunge, lower the back knee down. Inhale, kneeling lunge, reach up. Exhale, half splits, option to airplane your arms behind you. Good, inhale, half a kneeling lunge. <laughs> Exhale, half splits. We'll go one more time through. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, half splits. Amazing job. Start to rock back into the lunge. Tuck the back toes. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, right arm back, twisting. So strong. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Straighten the front leg. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. 
exhale, low lunge towards the right foot. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Great control. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we got one more side. You got it. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Plant the right hand. Inhale, twist. Exhale, low lunge. Lower the back knee. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, half split. Twice more through. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, half split. Inhale, kneeling crescent. Exhale, half split. Good, big transition. Start to rock into the lunge. Tuck the back toes. Inhale, powerful crescent lunge. Boop, boop. Exhale, twist, left arm goes back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep your core tight here. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge towards the left foot. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go take a big breath in here, fill up your rib cage. And as you exhale, lower down to your knees. You can grab a little sip of water. You can pat your brow if you started to break a sweat. And then when you're ready, we'll meet in child's pose. Great job. All right. All right. 15 minutes. Not bad. All right, we're meeting in child's pose. Just a little get your life together moment. A more positive way to frame that would be to say this is a time to reconnect with yourself, decide what you need from the rest of this practice. If it feels okay, you might send your knees a little more wide than you usually would. Your hips have had a lot of love. They might enjoy a little extra opening. If not, that's okay. Tend to your fingertips on the ground so the palm of your hand pops up. Push your fingertips into the earth and drag your shoulder blades down and back. Little extra shoulder opening here. Two breaths. Good, you can release your hands back down. Crawl your fingertips off towards the right top corner of your mat, finding a big stretch through your left side body. Breathe in here. Breathe out, let it go. Crawl back to center and then off towards the other side, finding a big stretch through your right side. Inhale. And exhale. Good, crawl back to center, press yourself up into a tabletop position and then make your way to downward facing dog. We're gonna do a little bit of balancing and then we'll be all down on the ground, stretching it out. Option to skip this part and stay in a restful pose. I would fully support that. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Think your butt back and down just for a minute. Going into eagle pose. Cross your left leg over your right and bring the left arm under the right. Left leg over, left arm under. Find something non-moving on the floor in front of you. And sit your back up as long and tall as you can. Lower your center of gravity to make the balance easier. <laughs> Lift your elbows up in line with your chin. Send your fingertips away from your face. 
Option to grab for your backs of your shoulder blades. Stay here, squeeze the legs, squeeze the arms together. Good, gently unwind as you inhale, stand all the way up, reach your arms up high. Exhale, hands to your heart. Good, let's go back, inhale, chair pose. We'll do that on the other side. As you exhale, right leg comes over the left leg, right arm goes under. If your hands don't clasp, you can still try to dig your elbows together and lift them up and away. You'll still get that same feeling through the shoulder blades. Lean back like you're leaning against a wall. It's okay if you're wobbly, if you're falling out, just try again. Lift your elbows up. Breathe with purpose and intention here. Use your breath to steady you. Good, one more full round. Good, next inhale, unwind, both feet on the ground, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, next option is for dancer's pose. And we're gonna go into tree after that. If you're like, I hate dancers, it hurts my body. You can go straight for tree. So for dancers, we're gonna grow roots through the left foot first. Kick your right heel towards your glutes, grab the inside ouch arch of your foot. So the side where your big toe is. The eye of your elbow is pointing forward. As you inhale, reach the left arm up high. Kiss your knees together. And as you exhale, start to kick. You're kicking your foot into your hand. You might feel a little bit of a back bend starting. Keep reaching up through your left arm like you could grab your right foot. Good. You're staying lifted through the heart, kicking, 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 kicking through the right foot. Gently return to center without slingshotting and then release both feet to the ground. Let's try that on the other side. Right foot melds with your left foot kicks. Grab for the inner edge of your left foot. Bring your knees as close to touch as you can, reaching the right arm up and high. As you inhale, grow longer. And as you exhale, kick the right foot. Kick, 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 good. Good, stay connected to your core. You're reaching the right arm up and back. You're kicking, kicking the foot. Maybe you start to hinge forward a little bit. Dancer's pose is a pretty tall pose. It's less about coming down. Good. One more round of breath, you're doing amazing. Gently return to center like you started and then release. Good, I know dancing is tough. Whew. All right, tree poses next. If you want a little bit of an extra challenge for tree pose and you have your block nearby, try standing on it. If your ankles feel good, your knees feel good. It adds just like a, a squishy element which makes the balancing more challenging. Completely optional, you don't have to try it. Let's do the right leg foot first. The right foot grows roots into the ground. Lift the left foot. You can either kickstand the foot. Maybe you bring your foot onto the calf. Maybe you come all the way up to the inner thigh. Grow branches in a way that feels expressive and fun. Keep breathing, breathe. Send the bent knee back behind you to open up the hips. Good. We'll gently return to center. Branches come back to the heart. Turn your knee forward and then back down. Good. Let's try the other side. If you happen to have the block, flip it over. It might have a little imprint of your foot from the other side. Again, optional. And not like a better way to do this either. There's, it's just all options. Decide how you'd like to express through the right leg this time. Growing branches if it feels good, maybe in a new way. Good, grow taller through the top of your head. Open up your right knee. Couple more breaths, you got it. Branches come back to the heart. 
turn the knee to face forward and then release out. Nice job. You can set this block off to the side. Give your legs a shake and a wiggle. All right, turn to face the top of your mat as you inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, forward fold, come down. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, down onto all fours. We're gonna start to do a really sexy transition down onto your back. So it's just where we're headed, all the way down onto your back. We'll do some figure four here, a little love for the hips. Cross the right ankle over the left knee, flex the right toes back towards your shin. You could stay like this with the left foot anchored on the ground or for more intensity, bring both legs towards you. Maybe even using the right elbow to press the right knee away from you. Breathe here. Good option to stay with this expression of the stretch to try something else. Bring the left foot back onto the ground. Right ankle is still crossed over and then tip your body off to the left. So your left thigh is resting on the ground. Right foot is on the ground and now the right knee points up towards the sky. And you can play with grabbing for the right shin or ankle. I like to try to move the right foot a little closer to me and then push the knee away. If you have sore hips or the part of your hip that just connects to the rest of the leg, that those connective tissues sometimes feel really tense and tight. And the stretch can feel good getting into glute need. Good. And when you're ready, we'll just roll back to center and we'll trade out the legs. So the left ankle crosses on top of the right knee. We'll start with this figure four stretch, moving into the expression that feels best on this side. Keep breathing purposefully and fully, even as we slow down here. And you can stay like this or for the other hip stretch, bring the right foot back to the earth, topple yourself over to the right, and then play around with bringing the left foot as close to you as feels good and pushing the left leg away. You could even use one of your blocks to help reach the leg to push it away. Good. Gently roll back to funnel. Hug both knees up and into your chest. We'll let the left leg go long. Right leg squeezes in. Inhale. And as you exhale, guide the right leg across your body, finding a twist. And stack the hips on top of each other. Open the arms out wide for some extra chest stretching. Cactus the right arm. So the arm that you're twisting away from, if you bring it into a little bit of a goalpost shape, you might feel that extra across the front of the shoulder. Take two more breaths into your belly button. When you're ready, roll back to center, bring both legs up and in. And this time we'll let the right leg go long, squeezing the left leg, breathe in. And as you exhale, find a twist. Start to let your body soften here. 
surrendering into the shape, two breaths into the pit of your belly. When you're ready, unwind, hugging both knees into the heart. And then finding happy baby pose, feet stamp towards the sky, grab for whatever is accessible. Last chance here to stretch it out through the hips, through the backs of the legs, the ankles. And there are so many options for our final resting shape. So pick whatever you'd like, but I offer you either reclined bound angle pose, how we started, or maybe legs up the wall, if that felt good. Hug the knees into center and then find either feet touching knees wide or sending your feet up towards the sky. If you have your block, it can go underneath your sacrum, maybe you're near an actual wall. Give yourself a couple moments to fidget around and then find a shape where you can commit to stillness in the body and find a soft and focused attention of the mind. Letting your mind rest on the sensations of your body. the feeling of your breath as it comes in, moves around, and then leaves. Relax the space between your eyebrows and the sockets of your eyes. Relax your nostrils and your jaw, and let your tongue rest down on the lower palate. Find relief through the throat. Feel your shoulders from the inside out. Relax the back of your heart space. And allow your heart to open and soften here. Heavy both arms. Notice the sensation of each finger on your hand. And soften your palm. Bring your attention back to your heart space and you can continue this body scan on your own all the way down to your toes. If your mind wandered off, just take a big breath in and a big breath out, returning to the sensations of the body and the feelings of the breath.
If you have time to stay here and keep resting, please do. If you're ready to be guided out, start to wake up, you can start to deepen your breath and bring little movements to your fingers and toes. If you're in legs up the wall, start to hug your legs back in towards the body, then stretch them out long. Gently reawakening, slowly coming back into the room, into the day that it is. When you find yourself in a big full body stretch, take a moment to notice the way that you feel and acknowledge the effort, the time that you gave to find this space of calm and more ease. So many things beg for our attention all the time and it is truly no small feat that you just spent 60 minutes with yourself. When you're ready, roll onto your favorite side for fetal pose, and then slowly press yourself up into a tall, proud seat. We'll end with three big breaths together. So find a comfortable position for yourself. As you inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. As you exhale, draw your hands to your heart. Two more times, breathe and reach up. And exhale, let something go. Last time together, breathe and reach up high. And exhale. Lift your thumbs to third eye center, space between your eyebrows, merging heart and mind. We bow in gratitude to the roots of this practice and to each other. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining. I hope that you're feeling peaceful and connected to yourself and good. Um, if you have questions or requests, for next time or you know anything just let me know um very happy to be here with you in this new year so i'll see you next time um until then take good care of yourself and somebody else if you can bye